Hello guys, this is Reese from Bomberito St. Peter's Volkswagen in St. Louis. Today I'm bringing you a 2023 Volkswagen Atlas SE with technology 4Motion V6. This particular one is pyrite silver metallic with Titan black leather leatherette on the interior. Black wheel package, black roof rails, captain's chairs, panoramic sunroof with a power sunshade, keyless entry on four doors. LED headlights, tail lights, turn signals, and reverse lights. The bowl line down the side. Chrome accents under the tail lights. It says Atlas right at the back of the car here. There's also a 5,000 pound tow hitch with a seven pin adapter right there. Park distance sensors front and rear. It says Atlas right here. SEV6 on the left side. Four motion off to the right. Now what's nice about the 2023s, as of right now, there are no deleted items on these cars. So far, I have to put that caveat in there, so far, that may change later on in a production year. But right now there are no deletes on the 2023 Atlas. Here's a look at the inside. The door inset right here, trimmed out in quartzite gray, arm pad, also the door inset, contrast stitching, the triple band right here. Wood grain interior right here, trimmed out with a flat silver finish around the door locks and the door handle. That flat silver finish goes across the dash over to the other side and into the door panel. Also, there's flat silver finish on the steering wheel as well. Your seats, Titan black leatherette right here, a double contrast stitch right here on the bolster that goes up almost over the shoulders and into the back. A double contrast stitch on the manual headrest here as well with the button up here. Power lumbar right here, forward and back, and also up and down, and then seat back adjust here. Here's a look through the car before we climb in. The captain's chairs has a light colored or light gray colored headliner and power sunshade there. It's a six seater with the captain's chairs, the fold down armrest right there. These are the larger, wider armrests now. They have a button rather than the little rotary dial to adjust where they lock at. That double contrast stitch continues on the arm pad right here as well. And as we climb in here, now standard is the digital cockpit the digital cockpit uh this is a digital cockpit pro minus navigation so it's now a standard item and this car just came off the truck so the fuel light is flashing there we got zero miles to empty um but i'll go over the car real quick here there are your there's your dial screen there's your wide screen and then there's your con your uh crop screen there the vent set up here nothing's really changed here there's a vent here 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 and also over there you do also have uh, automatic headlights here. You pull out on this guy to, to trigger the uh, poor weather lights. And then you have a coin box for storage here. A telescoping steering wheel you can pull out, push in, raise and lower where you need it. And lock it back. I'll lock it back here. And then I do also have um, the fuel gauge right here on the left side. It's blinking red. It's getting critical there. And then over here on this side is the temperature gauge. Rain sensing wipers on this car, cruise control, adaptive cruise control as well. So I can turn on cruise control there. My assistance here, I got me as adaptive cruise control, regular cruise control, side assist, which is my blind spot monitoring, rear traffic alert, and front assist. So the blind spot monitoring and the power lift gate are back. Power lift gate, I can just lift up on this guy right here. And that opens my rear lift gate right there. And if I lift up and hold that button there, it'll also close that lift gate. In 2022, towards the end of the production year, those were one of the items they deleted um, and people didn't really like that. So that wasn't really a popular hit, even though we gave you window credit for it. Um, that was kind of an item that, uh, well, we kind of missed with. Storage bin right up here. You do also have an AM, FM and satellite radio here. It does have uh, gesture control as well. So I, as long as you see that little hand right there, I can wave my hand in front of it. You'll freak your kids out with that. Uh, that's all your presets there, 30, 36 presets there. You do also have down here, a wireless charging pad, two USB-C connections right here that are also backlit and a 12 volt charger port right there. On this radio though, I can bring it up by touching this little button right here or simply put it in reverse. I do have trajectory steering, turn the wheel left, turn the wheel right. That yellow line moves accordingly. The green line signifies straight back. The red line signifies where the uh, bumper is. And then you have this little icon here that pops up, this overlay. And then it also shows you your, your uh, proximity to ob obstacles 
in uh, relation to your bumpers on the front and also on the rear. That comes up on demand. And you can also change your camera view. So there's the uh, 3D view, there's a trailer view, and then there's like a fisheye view right there, but the main view is right there. And I can push this button to turn that off and that also turns off the sensors. I also have dual heated seats up front. They start on high, then medium, then low, then off. Your vent setups are all right here. Climate control setup is all right here. This is a tri-zone setup, so dual zone up front. And then you also control the main, the back area as well. Max defrost, defrost for the rear, the rest button. Also the automatic button here where it sets it up like your thermostat. But the menu button is the big one. That brings up the touch screen here where you can adjust fan speed right here on the screen. And if you enjoy fingerprints, you can do that all up there. Um, otherwise, you'll do it on the knobs. Then you do also have the blue you can touch here or the red you can touch here to warm or cool the car. And then you also have air care. Air care is uh, an air filtration system that will scrub the air in your car uh, before it circulates it through the cabin. Very nice. Uh, that blue line will expand. And uh, as long as you have windows and sunroof, the sunroof closed, that will work for you. Um, up above up here, this one does have the auto dimming home link mirror, which is an added cost here. It's not a standard item. Three door garage door memory here and a Bluetooth button here. Digital compass there, auto dimming so you don't have to adjust it. Vanity uh, mirror up here has a light above on each side. You have that right here and also over here. The giant panoramic sunroof with the power sunshade. If you love sunroofs, you're gonna absolutely be wild by this thing. That sunshade goes all the way back, covers the front and the second row right there. And then you do also have a power sunroof. This guy right here stacks on top of that guy there and goes all the way back. Pop-up windscreen right here. Here's a look at the passenger side seat over here. It's also a heated seat. Manual controls right here, this little lever here. Uh, you pull up on and adjust the seat and over here on this side this is how you adjust your seat back now this seat does not raise and lower it's fixed at the level it's at but you can adjust the seat back in the glove box here there are your manuals right there and this little ziploc bag below here that includes your tire warranties and what have you right there that realistic looking wood grain panel right there that giant sunroof is pretty amazing right there and it's tinted glass as well there's a look at your seats in the back right there. I'm going to go ahead and close that sunroof up a little bit so it doesn't bring in all the glare. The armrest right here. Lots of storage in here. You can get a medium-sized purse in here. There's also a safe you can put in here. Two bolts. Will, it will bolt in right here and still give you access to this USB-C. You can lock your valuables in there. Um, of course, you know you can still carry a fit in there as well. Cup holder right there or cup holders I should say and your e-brake is right here this being all-wheel drive it does have a snow mode the snow mode by turning to the snowflake there then you have your eco normal sport and custom and then you also have off-road and off-road custom and off-road custom is going to allow you to tweak tweak things here and turn things on and off uh, and adjust them accordingly um, and then you do have where you can just go back to the roadway here and now your eco normal sport and custom and then you can also change it by pushing this button here if you want to save on fingerprints just like that all right I'll put it back on normal and there we have it let's take a look at their back seats here's a look at those black alloy wheels this one comes in at 47007 007 that's kind of cool so 47,007 and then the extras on this one are going to be $1,200 for the power tilting and sliding sunroof $695 for captain's chairs $595 for uh, the black wheel package 385 for the auto dimming home link mirror 327 for the monster mats that's the rubber mats and 90 bucks for the roadside assistance kit plus a 1295 destination charge bringing it at 47007 here's a look inside those the back seats here or the two back two rows i should say uh there is also a sunshade right here on the door that's on each side for the two rear doors the arm pad is a little larger right here still trimmed out in quartzite gray leatherette same with the inset right here with that triple band stitch right there. Storage for bottles and cups right there. And then you do also have a contrast stitch right here as well. Right here on the seat on the bolster. And that goes into a single bead up here and then back to a double. You also have this new icon right here for uh, helping you with this guy here. So you lift up on this guy to go forward. The bottom drops out. The seat pitches forward. And you lift up this way to go backwards and lock it in place. There's a bar underneath to slide the seat forward and back. Car seat hookups here. 
and also there and as we climb in here and take a look there's a look at the magazine pocket right there lots of leg room back here i'm wearing boring socks today guys they're just boring if you can see those right there they're just boring socks okay so you do have also right here um two more usb-c connections right here and a three-prong plug-in as well right there so you can charge a laptop if you can see that also right here the climate control for the third row and then also vents back here for your passengers in the rear there's a look through from the back to the front the instrument cluster center console armrest right there and a look up at that giant panoramic sunroof very nice goes over my head right there adjustable headrest on this passenger seat as well and then over here on this side here's a look at the seat here and the armrest that this folds down right here and you just adjust where you have that stop at by pushing the button here door inset over there also and here's a look at the back seats they sit high off the floor so passengers with uh, taller passengers won't have knees in their chest they, they uh, sit high off the floor those headrests you just flick up with the flick of a wrist sculpted roof line right there so even a six three uh tall a six foot three person sitting back there in that third row is not going to complain about the the space or the room you have seat belt clips off to the sides so if you have a cargo or something like that uh you're not snagging the cars the uh the uh seat belts let's take a look at the rear hatch that was another look at the uh wheels there right between the t and the l is the switch power lift gate goes up here's a look through from the back to the front the true six seater setup with the giant panoramic sunroof these seats are all steel reinforced on the, the back four seats these two seats here and those two captain's chairs as well in the event of a crash any cargo that's back here is going to want to drive forward the seat the steel the steel uh plate in the seat stops that from penetrating the seat and injuring people in the seat top tether hookup on the two rear seats also top tether hook up on the two captain's chairs in a lower position down there. You have a C-pillar vent on the left and also on the right. The thing that I will point out about this car, if you're comparing it to maybe the Traverse, is with our seats, our middle row seats, they pitch forward where your passengers in the rear two seats can exit either side of the vehicle, not just one. There's a le uh, lever right here. Fold the seat down, Velcro strap right there. There's another one there. Those seats fold flat those two seats will also fold flat so you have cargo all the way up to the front two seats this one comes with the roadside assistance kit monster match right here cargo blocks right here and i'm going to go ahead and pull this back up here just like that and this one as well now you do have over the seat right here two usb c's right there for a total of seven and you have a 12 volt char charger port right there another seat belt clip here a recessed trunk light here and also over here and a bag hook right there underneath this floor here if I can juggle this with one hand there's your spare tire you just release this guy right here pull out the carpet and the jack and your spare tire is out juggling this with one hand guys so we're doing one take here. there's a look at your power lift gate button right there and it closes easily and that is adjustable hatch this car will come with a four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper warranty on it from Volkswagen. Four years, 50,000 miles, and include two years of free maintenance. So your 10 and 20,000-mile oil change are covered by Volkswagen. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, remember, you can fly in and drive out. I'll pick you up at the airport. I'm going to give you a third-year free maintenance as well. That's a local deal only, though, so you'll only be able to get that at our, at our dealership. The third-year free maintenance. So your 10, 20, and 30,000-mile oil changes are all covered. Also, if you buy from me at Bomberito St. Peter's, I'm going to give you a 10-year, 200,000-mile nationwide engine and powertrain warranty free of charge. 10 years, 200,000 miles nationwide. So if you're interested in a car like this one, give me a call. 636-290-4257. 636-290-4257. I'm on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Resales Cars. Thanks a lot, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy, have a great day.